Welcome back to the channel guys. We just dunked the boat in the water. It is 8.30 right now. We're just gonna fish till about lunchtime today. We're doing one goal on today's channel and that is to teach you how good a trick worm is. I'm gonna show you some of my little tricks and secrets that I do to catch more fish on a trick worm. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because at the end I'm going to be offering one of my best secrets about a trick worm. Uh, it's my favorite one and you're not gonna wanna miss it. I think you're gonna like it. It's gonna save you a ton of money in the long run when you're using trick worms. But for now, now, since we're fishing on limited time, let's get down to the boat real fast. Let's rig up a trick worm and let's walk you through some of my secrets on how I get more bites with a trick worm and show you how effective and versatile this bait can be, especially during the early fall like this when the fishing is still kind of tough. And if you're new to my channel, head down below and hit that subscribe button. Before we get into today's video, I put new fishing videos out every Monday and Thursday from fishing tip videos to like this to other fishing and tournament footage out there on the water. So if you don't want to miss any of that, hit that button down below. There's one. First one of the day. Not a bad one. He came right off that log that's laying in the water right there. That is not a big one, but it is a start to the day. We're gonna go ahead and let her go, and we're gonna keep trying to find some bigger ones with this trick worm. Water's pretty cold. See you, buddy. While there's probably a million ways you could rig a trick worm and it would catch fish because it's such a great bait, there's one way that I'm rigging it for today and probably the one I use the most and it's just a standard Texas rig. So I'm doing a couple things with this Texas rig here and the way that I rig it to make sure that I get the most amount of bites with this worm here. So the first thing I'm doing is using a 3 aught Gamagatsu super line hook. It doesn't have to be a super line or Gamagatsu, the size is the most important thing. 3 aught is what I found to be the perfect size. If you use a 5, it'll come like back to here. And the further your hook goes back, the less action you're going to get in this tail. So a 3 aught is big enough that if the fish bites it, you can still get a good hook on them. But it still gives you the best action with this rig that I'm doing here. I use the super line because I'm flipping this bait and putting it into heavy cover. And it tends not to bend out as much. Then when you get to the weight here, very important thing with the weight. This is probably the most important thing on this whole Texas rig. Try to use tungsten if you can. If you can't afford it, you can use lead. But tungsten is better because it's smaller. Then the next important thing is the size. You wanna use the lightest weight that you possibly can with this Texas rig. It is, this is not a rig that you're gonna fish very fast and cover a ton of water with and try and like flip a whole bunch with you're going to pick very specific areas where you're going to throw this and try and catch fish um, you want to have your fish kind of targeted when you try this rig here it'll just get you more bites in those areas you know the fish are already at this is a quarter ounce that's about as heavy as i'll ever go the reason i went with a quarter ounce today we got like 15 mile per hour winds and it's i'm fishing pretty deep water i'm in like 10 foot right here but if i could get away with it you'd want to go with the 3 16 or even a 1 8 ounce um, Anywhere between a 1 8 and a 1 quarter is what you're going to look at there. Then I'll put a bobber stop on here. Like I said, we're flipping a lot of heavy cover. You almost want to rig this just like you would a creature bait flipping into cover. I mean, if you think about it, this is probably the most effective flipping bait that's ever been made because it's all straight, no appendages. It goes right through the cover super easily. That's why you want to have that peg there. And then the last important thing is your line. You do not want to use too heavy of line with this unless you need it for the fish you're fishing for. So. I am only using 15 pound test. It's going to give my bait the most amount of action with that light line, lighter line. You're still flipping, so you want a little bit heavy line, but you don't need uh, 20 pound. Now, I have used 20 pound with this before in Florida. I was flipping docks, catching big bass in Florida. You need that heavier line to get them out, so you can sacrifice a little bit on the action to make sure you get those fish out. Um, this is actually the same setup with a different color worm that I caught that 31 pound bag in Florida on, all right here. This is the same exact setup, quarter ounce weight, flipping 10 foot of water with boat docks, three aught hook. I was using a June bug colored worm with the sinker stop, and I was using 20 pound tests to get those fish out. So this does catch big fish. The problem is, like I said, you're gonna get a lot of bites with this. You're gonna, it's gonna get, get you more bites overall, uh, but they can be small. As you've seen so far in the video, we caught that one little one so far. Um, 
you might catch a lot more fish but you're gonna have to weed through some small ones that doesn't mean it doesn't catch big ones though like i said 31 pound bag three seven pounders and a five pounder all on this trick worm right here uh and a three pounder every fish came on that trick worm flipping boat docks so you can catch big fish on a trick worm right time right place it'll get you a lot of bites There's one good one too. Finally. Come here, you. Don't you come off. Come on. Pow! That's a tank. While you may catch some small ones with the trick worm, you're also going to catch some fish like that. That's probably pushing. She's pushing for it. We'll weigh her. All right, we are going to let this fish go. Look at the gut on her. She is thick. We're going to go ahead and let her go. See if we can get a couple more like her. There she goes. Right back down to where she came from. There's one. Little guy. But that's two fish off these shaded banks almost immediately. I mean, this was right after that other one. So we're gonna keep with this pattern and see if we can run it a little bit more. We're also starting to go up the lake more. Uh, we're gonna let him go. We're starting to go up the lake more towards the creek. And if you've heard anything about fall fishing, the fish start to work their way up the creeks again where they spawned and stuff like that. They'll feed on shad back there because that's where the shad are going to go. The cooler water is going to be coming in back there and stuff like that. And they'll feed there until it's time to go back out to the main lake for winter time. So they'll actually push their way up the creek. I've been catching them down by the dam in this lake this summer. So maybe they're starting to push their way towards the back. So we're going to keep fishing that way and find out. All right, so we just loaded the boat up on the trailer. We're getting ready to head home here, but don't click off the video yet. I'm going to give you this money saving tip that I was telling you about earlier in the video that saves you a bunch of money on trick worms and there will be a giveaway included. So you don't want to leave the video yet. Here it is. We're going to talk about it right now. The Zoom trick worm is what I typically fish with right here. These can get rather expensive. They are a cheap plastic compared to some of the other ones out there on the market. They're still typically in the places that I shop around are about four to five dollars a bag and I think you get 20 in a bag. Right here is Bitters Bait and Tackle. This is a company located in Florida but they do online shopping as well. They offer all their plastics that are in-house made in these bulk bags like this. There's 150 trick worms in here, $30 for the whole bag. I go through a bunch of these big bags of baits. They make really good baits. They have 200 colors to pick from. And for $30 to get 150 trick worms, like I talked about when you're using that EWG hook, you go through a lot of plastics. So to just buy them in bulk like this and not have to worry about running out or buying six bags of this color and six bags of that color, you just buy one giant bag, you have them for a while. I do actually go through these a lot faster than you think. This is my second bag this year that I'm on. I already went through a whole 150 count bag of these. You do actually go through quite a few baits. You don't have to worry about saving baits as much because they cost more than others. Like Gary Yamamoto Senkos, you try and preserve them as much as you can. These are a lot cheaper. So instead of worrying about getting the wrong action on your bait or flipping it out there and you make a cast and it's a perfect cast and your bait falls down on the hook, if you get a bait tore up, you just rip this off, throw a new one on and you save a bunch of money by doing it this way. Like I said, not affiliated with the company, just really believe in their products. They offer other baits as well that are very they, similar to other ones on the market. But this one here, this is called the Bitters Baits Magic Wand. I will link their company down below and so you can go check it out. This is literally the trick worm mold. It's identical. Um, see how well you can see that there. The June Bug one, this one right here, is the bitters one and this is a regular trick worm I'm, it's kind of hard to tell but i mean they're literally identical worms they come out of the same mold they're exactly the same there's no difference in quality plastic texture anything some of the other ones do vary a little bit from the original they're still good but they are a little bit different than the original bait that's on the market that they're trying to compare to um, but these 
straight identical. When I said I caught that 31 pound bag in Florida, it was on a bitter's magic wand. Um, I did not catch any on a zoom trick worm. I didn't throw them because I didn't need to, but I caught all my fish down there in that 31 pound bag video, which I'm about to link here on that bitter's worm. So they do catch fish. And like I said, you do have to weed through some small ones on the trick worm technique, but you will catch some big ones as well like we did today. Now for the giveaway, three easy steps to enter into this giveaway. I'm going to be, since I'm talking about it right now, I'm gonna give away some bags of these. Up to five winners, every 500 likes this video gets up to 2,500 likes. So if this video gets 2,500 likes, five bags of these will be given away. If it gets 500 likes, I'll give away one bag to a winner. Uh, there'll be five different winners. So the more likes we get, the better chance you have of winning it than just picking one winner. All you have to do, subscribe down below, hit the like button because that's how we're gonna get to the 500 or however many likes, and then comment your favorite color trick worm so I know which one to give to you once you win, if you win. That's all you gotta do. Go ahead down below and do that real fast. And if we hit 500 likes, we'll give away a bag of these. And then up to 2,500, we'll give away up to five bags of these. And I'll know what color to send you if you comment it below. So hopefully we can hit that 2,500 like mark and we can give away five bags of these. And you can give these bitters baits a shot. If not, or if you just wanna check them out on your own, like I said, it'll be linked down below. And I hope these tips helped you learn a little bit about how to catch more fish with a trick worm. This is like the ultimate finesse bait and you can even throw it on a bait caster like we've been doing today. If you're just looking to catch a ton of fish or you're really trying to figure out, you're just getting into bass fishing and wanna catch fish in general, and you don't really care about size or anything like that, or even in a tournament, you're just trying to get more bites. Give these trick worm tips a try. Hopefully you'll catch more fish out there on the water. Thanks for watching.